Hello and welcome to this week's Warriors HQ where we look back on our win over Connacht last Friday night here at Scotston. Coming up on this week's show we've got highlights of our dramatic 33-32 victory over Connacht plus reaction from Hugh Blake. We also speak to Tim Swenson and former Glasgow player Jason White when the Scotland squad come to Scotston to train. You made your debut for Glasgow Warriors tonight. It was certainly a baptism of fire with just us winning 33-32. What did you make of it? You came on, um, obviously here as a forward, but you came on as a back. How did you find that? Yeah, coming on as a centre was pretty surprising, but um, I was stoked to make the debut. Um, finally, you know, part of the whole thing, and, um, and that was awesome to get the win pretty close to the end there, but the boys dug deep and that was really good. Yeah, what did you make of it? Because we were ahead for long periods and then obviously in the second half we just let it slip. What did you make of that? Yeah, just uh, set piece didn't go too well in the second half, and you know when that's under the pump, you can't get any ball, and um, they got a bit of a go for it on, and it was pretty hard to stop. Um, all credit to them, and um, no, as, as I said, we kicked down deep and kept them out for the last five, ten minutes, which was lucky, but great to get the win against Connacht. They're a pretty strong side. With no Guinness Pro 12 action for the next few weeks, it's been announced that Glasgow Warriors will play the British Army in a friendly match at Scotland on Friday the 25th of September, kick-off 7.35. Tickets for this game are available now from glasgowarriors.org, with season ticket members being entitled to a £5 discount on tickets in the Platinum section. Ahead of the Rugby World Cup kicking off this Friday, the Scotland squad came here to Scotland last week to train and we caught up with Tim Swinson and former Glasgow player Jason White. Tim, you're here at Scotston just um, preparing for the World Cup opener against Japan on the 23rd of September. Um, you must be delighted to be picked for the squad. No, it's a fantastic opportunity for myself but also for the Scotland squad in the World Cup against Japan. And um, You were named in the squad after featuring for Glasgow against Canada. Did that come as a surprise to you? Yeah, it came as a bit of a shock um, but you know, I've just got to push and really sort of show why I'm here. And how is preparations going? Yeah, it's been tough. It's been a little bit of a step up, a bit more physicality but it's been good fun. Now we 
Jason, as a former Glasgow Warriors player, how pleased were you to see the club win the Guinness Pro 12 trophy in May? Yeah, it was fantastic. It was um, obviously the culmination of years of hard work and I suppose the disappointments from the, the previous years really drove the squad on. And to, and to see Big Al, somebody who I played a lot, lot of rugby with, to lift it up and what it meant to the, to the players, to the fans who were over there, was, was just immense. And I was there that day and the, the songs coming out in the, in the crowds, the whole, the whole day was, was just really special. So it's laid down a big challenge for the Warriors uh, team this year to, to defend the title. You obviously played for the club and have been involved with Scottish rugby for a long time. Um, did you always think that Glasgow Warriors would reach the heights that it has, or was there some, ever some doubts in your mind of the progress? Yeah, back in back in the day, I left a, a long time ago, back in two thousand and three, to go down to England. No, that would have been a, an honest answer. Would, would Glasgow ever win the league? You'd say it was a long way off then. We were just playing in the Anglo Welsh League. So, but I've obviously been a, a big follower of, of Scottish rugby, of the, of the two pro teams up here, and you could see it coming. I think. The way the, the team uh, built on the success that Sean Lanine put in with his, his squad, Gregor coming in and making it better, it's, but it's been taking that, that final step that's been the really um, fan, fantastic thing to see and, and be part of. And this season's now well underway. What have you made of the new signings that uh, Gregor Townsend's brought in? Yeah, he's, a, he's, a shrewd, uh, he's a shrewd coach, Gregor. He was, he was a fantastic player and he's, he's carried that over. It's, it's not a clear pathway for, for ex-players like myself. Do you go into pro coaching? And it's something that, that Gregor has really taken to and he has a fantastic skill set and what he's done. In terms of the new signings, the big winger from the big Fijian from Australia, when he comes over, I think everyone's looking forward to seeing him. And, and I think he's challenging the players within the Glasgow squad to to get better and better, which is fantastic. When I finished up my career out in Claremont and during the World Cup in 2011, that's when Wesley Fofana and the winger Noah Nakatasi actually got their first breakthrough into senior rugby. So this could be the time for some of the players at Glasgow to come through and really make their mark. Glasgow Warriors Guinness Pro 12 title success is to be commemorated in the publication of a new book and it's available now to pre-order. With photos from each game and exclusive content, Fans will be able to relive their favourite moments from each month of the season. A perfect memento for supporters, the book is available now to pre-order from glasgowarriors.org. On next week's Warriors HQ, we're here at the Southern General Hospital in Glasgow to find out what the Glasgow Warriors players have been up to on their week off. Don't forget, Warriors HQ returns next Wednesday evening at 5pm on Glasgow Warriors TV at youtube.com forward slash Glasgow Warriors.